How's it going guys? It's PG here. And this is going to be my little pursuer build featuring the Elite Knight Helm, the steel armor set. And of course we're going to need our rings that boost your equipment load to include the third dragon ring and the royal soldier ring plus one. We will be using our great sword since this is our strength build Uruk. So fuck it let's go fight some people i guess how bad could this be we have a giant armor rating right now uh not to mention we're also using our stamina recovery ring and the steel protection ring so we should be relatively well off when it comes to being attacked by people so i decided that i would show you guys how to cosplay the pursuer uh mainly just because it's fun um I don't know, I only got like maybe one or two messages where people were like, hey, you look like the Pursuer, that's pretty cool. Uh, not to start this video off on a bad note, but as you guys saw on the lower screen, this invader, uh, he was not summoned, he's actually an invader. He came in and this host and this red assumed that it was okay to gank him because he was invading. Uh, as much as I don't like to play favorites or anything like that, uh, that shit really bothered me. So I decided I would keep this red entertained. I'm not trying to kill him, as you see. I'm swinging at nothing just to kind of distract him. Um, we're just kind of distracting him. Oh wow, look at that. He has a fucking uh, a dagger and it only did that much on a backstab. But uh, anyway, we're just keeping him distracted so that that red can have an honest fight with the host. As you can see, that host lost as he should have. And we're going to go ahead and give that guy a little goodbye, a little tap in the face there. So anyway, guys, um, I didn't want to start the video on a bad note, but honestly, that invader deserved a fair shot to kill the uh, host. So here we are in another world and some dude named Farts. So uh, the host name is Farts. We got a great sword user against a guy with a crystal magic weapon buff. Great sword user didn't do so good, which makes me a little nervous. We have our weapon withdrawn at this time so that nobody can see that we have a great sword. <clears throat> I would hate for somebody to prepare themselves for a great sword fight because that gives them the advantage of possibly, you know, lightening their build. Uh, dropping some armor pieces so that they can uh, roll around a lot better switching their primary weapon out for maybe a dagger or something like that for some cheap attacks anyway our opponent is I think he's actually a uh, a dragon bro and he looks he looks to either be a phantom that's been in here for a little bit or he's a dragon bro and seeing how he's wasting spells like there's no tomorrow uh, I'm assuming he is a dragon bro because a phantom wouldn't waste his spells like that uh, we waited for his magic to go ahead and cast off towards the host and the other red that came into the room and because of that that gave us plenty of time to come in he wants to use that great shield so we uh, reposed him real quick and now we're just baiting him into some attacks so that we can uh, finish this fight. Now this guy uses an all too common pattern. As you can see, he realizes he's on the ropes and he switches to a great bow. And um, <clears throat> basically all he has to do is either wait for me to roll or wait for me to be far away. And he can draw that bow and fire before the frame rate can catch up meaning I cannot actually tell when he's fired that bow. So he has, of course, this really nice distinct advantage now. And uh, he fucks it up. Don't worry about that. But uh, I've seen actually two or three builds that have done this. And of course, that is exactly what you want to do when you come across a build like that. Uh, all you have to do is get them to roll once or twice and either come up behind them for a backstab or wait for them to complete their second or third roll based on how much stamina that looks like they would have and go ahead and do a jumping attack so that being said guys here's our next opponent he's using a great sword as well he's not using the same one as us he's using 
Oh, he's using the magic sword from uh, the DLC. Uh, luckily for us, we have a good armor rating, so we're not worried about it. So he wants to show off some of his uh, cool new moves. So basically, our thought process and our attack pattern is going to be very simple. We're going to avoid him. We're going to bait him with attacks. So as you can see there, we've landed a lot of attacks. This guy, although he seems like he knows what he's doing with this weapon, doesn't seem very familiar with the uh, greatsword class. So we'll bait him with an attack. And when he comes in, we'll slap him. And now we only need, a, I would say, one attack. Do a jump attack, get him to do his jump attack, and finish it up with a backstab. Really easy to predict his movements. Um, anyway, that guy that's down there is actually away from controller, so this room got horribly boring fast. But here's somebody that decided to invade me in my world. Um, the video kind of cut to it fast because... Uh, he invaded and for some reason they put him in like the really far off corner of the uh, the map. So it took him like five minutes to find me. So that being said, he is a full on shadow clothed bro and he's even using the dagger to prove it. So my number one goal for this fight is not to get backstabbed by this cool little shadow guy. <clears throat> As you can see, he's really easy to bait. He thought we were only going to do the two swings. He just has so much goddamn health. I mean, look how ridiculous that is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, okay, so this is an all too common thing in Dark Souls 2. He realizes that he's going to lose. Instead of owning up to it, learning to fight better, he runs away and heals. Which honestly is annoying. But as you can see, he's not a challenge, he's not a threat. Uh, he's just a bad player trying to, I guess, get some cheap, easy wins. So we're going to go ahead and come over here. Just give him a nice little hello. Now, I don't know why the fuck he thinks he can trade with us. We have way too much poise for him to think he can trade with us. Um, honestly, his attack style, although hard to predict, is really... Um, uh, low low standard I guess you could say uh, right about here he starts oh no please don't kill me fuck that you ran away and healed honestly if this guy had uh, maybe had a funnier build or a cooler build we wouldn't have killed him so rudely as you can see there I knew he was trying to parry so I waited for him to do his little parry animation before I dropped my final attack but that being said, uh, don't ask for mercy if you run away and heal like a bitch. Um, fucking little rude. So this guy is fighting the host. I usually wouldn't attack a host, but as you can see, he immediately buffs. Meaning, this guy was legitimately fighting the host. And then decided, you know, the host decided, oh hey look, someone else came into the world so I can feel free to heal and I'm no longer obligated to fight. Fuck that. If you start a fight, you finish a fight. It's just that easy. Um, we fucked that guy up. He was using a weapon from the DLC. Uh, he didn't seem to be familiar with it. Now, here's how I'm going to end the video. The right of death. Keep in mind that is right as in the direction, not right as in W-R-I-T-E, which would be the correct version. Anyway, the right of death. I was unarmed and he attacked me. And he has two friends with him that are also attacking me. <clears throat> so that being said, we are going to run over here. Uh, luckily for us, we have a huge defense boost because of all this armor. So we are not too worried about getting hit. Uh, as you saw, we got hit about four or five times. Not even fucked up. About a third of our health is gone. Honestly, not that bad. But we don't have a shield, and I'm not planning on changing my build just because there's more people involved in this fight. So we're up here at the top of the little outpost tower, and we went ahead and healed. We're going to drop our uh, weapons, and we're just going to watch. Now if you'll notice, these two phantoms, I was looking at them pretty, pretty decently when I came into the world. 
Um, they're both a little dark, which means he's been ganking people for quite a while. As you'll notice, nothing in the level has been killed, meaning that they gank immediately. The minute someone comes into their fucking uh, world, they gank them immediately. Nobody's gotten a chance to run away into the level. That being said, we have two dark phantoms to deal with. So, I've shown you guys the method of luring them out and killing them one by one. <clears throat> Today, I kind of want to show you something a little different. And it's where these guys think they're pretty cool, you know, they they want to run through the level and show how strong they are. And uh, as you saw right there, he got fucking pegged with that arrow. And look how dark he is. And now he's almost dead. He can't heal because I'm in the world. And boom, task complete. Shade is gone. That's one down, one to go. This method is really easy. It allows you to quicken the uh, dispersion of a phantom. I know that sounds kind of off, but uh, basically, if you can trick your opponents into playing through the level, they've already killed a bunch of fucking red phantoms, so they're already really low when it comes to um, how much time they have left in a world. So of course the host isn't going to risk his own life and fight the enemies. He's too much of a pussy to fight for himself in the first place. So the phantoms are going to be the ones that go through the level and fight. So as you can see there, it only took that one phantom, I would say maybe two or three of these in-game enemies to, to lose and to get, you know, kicked out. So they think they have me cornered. What they don't realize is that I did the math. That phantom right behind him killed one other phantom before coming over here. I'm willing to bet he has one more kill left before he gets kicked out. In fact, I'm willing to bet this entire match on that single theory that he has one more kill left before he gets kicked out of this world. So that being said, there just so happens to be one person left. The host, who has a plethora of bolts, as you could see, he shot me with Avalon, could very easily kill this fucking knight next to me. But instead, he lets his summon come. Because again, he's too much of a bitch to fight for himself. I don't want to attack the host. I want the host to come over here with him. So the host made the jump. I'm going to scare the phantom so that the phantom leaves me alone. The phantom slides down. We're gonna check, make sure he doesn't come right back up. And now's our chance to get out of here. They have no idea that I've left. The phantom's blocking the way up so the host can't see. They're still sitting there like idiots. And that's the bait. The phantom is now going to kill that fucking knight up there because that knight is not gonna stop attacking him by any means. That is gonna get the knight kicked out, or uh, that's gonna get the phantom kicked out of the world. The host will be by himself. And when I see him start to cross the bridge, that is when I will come across and I will meet him. Task complete, shade returns. Here comes our host across the bridge. And now we're best friends, just me and him. So, I'll give this guy a little bit of credit. He uh, decided he thought he could fight me. Honestly, it was a bad decision. But, I'll give him credit. He didn't run to go summon his friends again. Although he knows if he tried, he would die. So we have poise. He's making mistake after mistake in this fight already to include pulling out Avalon and trying for that. Um, I don't even, honestly, I don't know why he even tried that, seeing as how Avalon was nerfed heavily in, uh, was that patch 06, 05? Quite a while ago. So, there's our jump attack. The host is going to run away to heal. We're going to punish the heal with a backstab. And, uh, just to be an asshole, we're going to finish this fight with a bare hand punch. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you like this Pursuer cosplay, and I'll see you in the next video.